Oh, I'll, I'll right out to the field. Be far, far away from my tow rig, please. Down, down, down over the hill. He's already, he's already plowing my yard. So Steve's over here attempting to unload this without actually unloading it. I'm attempting to unload it the fun way. Oh, the fun way, okay. Definitely nothing can go wrong. Yeah, it's, it's not strapped down anymore. <laughs> and he's stuck already. Down, down past the bucket and yank the wheel. There you go. It's cheating now though, the tires have mud all over them. This is how to roll a four-wheel runner. Yep. Here it goes. Oh no. Oh, it's it's gonna roll here in a minute. You need more speed. How'd that not work out? It's too far forward. Nah, you got it. You had it there. Yeah, you got to go down. Oh, it's it's definitely going to roll off the side. Go. One more shot. You're right there. You got it right there. Just. Oh no! It's the forerunner's tires against the uh, tire of the trailer, and they're smoking. But go, go down past the building a little bit and whip her hard. You need more mo forward momentum. You're just blowing big circles. You got to go in a square. Here it goes. Oh, the front end's going to fall off. Here it goes. There it goes. There it goes! <laughs> it's just dragging the front tire. It does not want to fall off. Oh, God. Thing is, thing is more, thing is more stable than you give it credit for. Well, you don't want to look at this side. It's a Toyota. It's a Yeah. It's a mess. Yeah, when it, when it went up over the wheel well. Oh, that's okay. Those so are coming off clear, right now. Clearance the running boards a little yeah. bit. 
Yeah, clear, clearance the running boards a little bit. Let's go. Yeah. You got it muddy, Steve. What the heck? <laughs> Look at the trailer. Yeah. Look at the trailer. Steve, go out there and replant my field. All right, we'll get her back out there. Uh, yeah. I was just nervous it was going to pop the tire. But I was surprised it, it didn't. Oh, it bent the axle. Wow. <laughs> what did it do? It bent the axle. Bad enough. It's like this now. Oh, <laughs> oh, God. There's your ramp. That looks awful. No, it looks totally fine. There's no way I'm going off that ramp. Yeah. Yeah, I'm too front heavy. I'm just gonna slam into the ground. No, you just start back here and just just send it. Dude, there's no way I'm doing that. I mean, we can adjust it to slightly less of an angle. Now he's stuck! Oh! <laughs> Steve, Steve got tapped! Hit and run! Hit and run! Don't, don't worry, I got that guy's license plate number. Hit and run! Oh god! <laughs> Don't be scared, Steve. Yeah, it's a good six or seven inches deeper than it was the other day. Showing him with this, we can just get the Jeep and that in here. <laughs> hey, Steve, yeah, I think your axle's still attached. Mm -hmm. Hit it hard. Hit it hard? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're good. Oh, we're good. Dude, I want to climb that. I mean, don't be scared. I'm not scared. The yeah. bank? No, right over there. Dude, it's, it's deeper than it was. Get oh. in here, Josh. Don't be scared. Let me get out there so I can record them. I just want to make sure I don't hydro lock it right today. I'm pretty hydro lock it while you're actually trying to do it. I don't even know where the intake pulls off that thing. To be well, my thing was like tank truck. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Tree!
That thing with them huge wide wheels on it, it just has absolutely no turning ability at all. He's going to go up over the bank on this side. He did it the other week. Back up a little further. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I don't I don't think four-wheel drive at all is working currently. Transfer case wasn't working on Jonah. Yeah. You have you have no four-wheel drive currently. I also have no other gears. We're just gonna for a couple minutes. Okay, you do that. Maybe maybe uh put it in park and shut it off. It's a little muddy, but I think so. Tires weren't even on the ground. <laughs> yes, that's what I'm talking about. Right up, dude. Four wheel drive. Yeah, this tire is about eight inches off the ground as you came wheeling up out of there. Oh, shit. Well, now you need to just send it back right okay, into the you, creek. I'll hand you out of the camera and then film me coming up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> no problem at all. Thank you. Yep. Oh. I don't know, I don't know what he's over here doing. He keeps staring at it. Oh, he, oh, he's angry. He's angry now. Send it! Power! <laughs> he zips the window. <laughs> It is, it is it is steeper than it looks. I mean, it is basically straight up. I don't know what he's attempting to do. Yeah, I mean, it goes it goes straight down too. It's so rutted from us trying to dig up it that it's definitely it is definitely steep. That is a that is a steep wall right there for sure. Steep wall. They go right up. What are you doing? Hanging out. Without even trying. No, didn't. Didn't even care. <laughs> hey, there's a big hole that. Came straight up over the bank and then disappeared into a hole. Right 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was where the front end was down in. Straight across, just straight across. How steep is that? Nah, it's fine. Send it. I know on camera that doesn't actually show up as good as it is, but that is a four foot straight up bank. Yeah, you hit it so hard you came completely off the ground. Like completely off the ground. Really? Yeah, that was fucking Thanks, awesome. Buddy. Well, that's how you clear logs out of the way. All right, Mike to the rescue. I'm not sure if I ran out of oil pressure or if my starter just is not cooperating. But at the moment, Mike is saving me from the uh, off-roading adventure. And uh, as you can see, this is a little bit of a challenging course to get out of here. I'm not even sure if I'm still attached at the current moment. Starter is not happy. Oh boy. Oh yeah. There it is. There we go. That's how you remove things on the trail that are in your way. Hang on.
gonna find out. Just go slow till I get up on the bank. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Yeah, this is like the hardest spot right here because it's you're on mud, I'm in the mud. Yeah, just go slow in case I slide window first into that thing. Yeah, because you're in the mud. Greg, Greg bailed on us if uh, Greg would have stuck around hooked another strap up. Is that thing getting hot? I think it's getting hot. Oh. 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 I'm just going to let it cool down for a little bit. This is just brutal stuff here. Once we get you over that hill, we're good. Oh, yeah. Just got to get over that little hill. Yeah, and we're 98% of the way there. Alright everyone, we got the Toyota 4 runner out here coming to rescue me. Oops, tree loom. Gotta go down in here and get get rescued by the 4 runner. Yeah, is there tow hooks on the front of this? One on the front, yeah. All right. You good? Back up. Keep going. A little bit. This thing got a four wheel low. Put it in neutral. Yeah, put it in neutral and then pull it into four low. 
or however it, wherever it goes. I uh, put her back in reverse and give her some beans. Oh yeah, there she is. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Yeah, yeah. Forerunner for the win. Ah. Freaking forerunner had to pull the Chevys out. That's that is some that is some crap. Hold on, I gotta get that on camera. Yeah, with a 15 year old driving. Man, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to burn these things to the ground, Mike. That is embarrassing. Y'all are gonna have to become Toyota fanboys now. Man, my thirty dollar Amazon starter left me down, and a three hundred dollar Forerunner had to come pull me out. <laughs> well, the three hundred dollar Toyota 4Runner is saving me out of the creek. I think my starter went out when we were down there. So luckily there was a 4Runner around. Mike's uh, blazer is getting a little toasty trying to drag me out, but the 4Runner seems to be doing a pretty good job so far. It's got to get a little treacherous up here where we start getting on some uh, rough, uh, uneven ground. As you can see, he's struggling now a little. I looked over and it was like... Oh yeah. She was up pretty high. So the uh, Forerunner basically just pulled the Tahoe the last like 500 feet up out of the creek uh, without anyone in it. And uh, then the Tahoe decided it wanted to depart the creek and uh, go up over the bank all by itself. Uh, so yeah, we had to stop for the moment. But uh, we'll get it unhooked and drag it up on the rest of the way. Yeah. No, no, don't get it. Hold on, we'll we'll get it. Yeah. Tell him just to pull forward slowly, it should unravel itself. Pull forward slow, buddy. Okay. Yeah. Oh, hang on a second. Hang on. I'll shake it. Hey, I want you to pull this up there and go over like I do. Alright, he's free. Tell him to send it. You hear me? Ah! Oh, I stepped in it. Oh, I'm wet now. Now I'm wet. What a complete animal! That's good! What a, what a complete animal! Drug it the whole way up out of there. That's that sad part. Oh my God. It did need a little help from the $300 Forerunner though. Oh. 